happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. Shani is fundamentally a graha of discipline and taskmaster. It likes hard work. It likes people who do hard work. A positive Shani means they will be very hard working. Negative Shani means they will be extremely lazy. Okay. Lazy, indolent, ha, aaj karte, kal karte, parso karte, aise types. Okay. And the more lazy you become, the more your Shani is going to cause you trouble. Simplest, I'm saying, of course, it all gets modified based on various other factors. But this is number one. So hard work and discipline is what Shani likes. Number two, Shani likes uh, masses. Lower level, not the elites. Shani dislikes elite. See, Shani is actually son of Surya. The son of the sun. Yeah. In the mythological lores that we get, he is a son of Surya. Okay. But he dislikes Surya. Completely dislikes him. Shani just dislikes sun. Okay. Because sun can project the ego. Arrogance and confidence. Shani likes humility. Just the opposite. The more humble one is. So Shani's idea is that you be humble and do hard work. Then why does Shani have a negative connotation? That is because certain positions of Saturn if it is placed. So these are the two things that are told. But fundamentally people may not neither be humble nor hard working. Okay. So then uh, Shani also among other things it, it rules things like something that is very long lasting. Okay. So if Shani gives you a trouble it is going to last for a very long time. Okay. Mm. For example what I said about um, discipline and all that. This is the fundamental nature of the Graha. But if Shani is negative Okay, and is troublesome, then it can cause a lot of trouble because it is slow also. Okay, and also another thing with Shani is that it it likes justice. Okay, if there is something wrong or some injustice that has happened or being done, something, it likes dishing out that justice to that individual during its period. That can be very painful. Okay, Shani worships Bhairava and Kali. These are the two go to Graha Devatas who can control Shani to an extent. But also, here let me say that some of the most fixed karmas, we are speaking of Jira karmas, are also governed by certain positions of Saturn. Saturn in that sense is, many people will say that Saturn is a karmic Graha, basically. What it means is that Saturn likes giving this justice business. So you have taken shortcuts X, Y, Z, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Saturn comes in and he gives you full hisab. So he is like that credit card bill that comes in. First you enjoy, then, you, then the bill will come. So that is what he is and that is where people, that's why people get scared because obviously uh, somewhere or the other if you have taken shortcuts or some things like that, then Saturn comes in is going to make you pay. And there is no, no escaping it. It is not that simple to know, to escape Saturn so easily. It is very... It itself is humble. See, escaping means what? Suppose sun or the other grahas are weak or something like that. You do some pujas or japas or something like that for the grahas. That's basically a way of placating the graha. To placate Shani is very difficult. Because it's very humble. It is not looking for your praises too much. And that's why you say the Hanuman Chalisa. <laughs> Hanuman Chalisa can help. But it has to be significant amount of Hanuman Chalisa. Okay. Hanumanji has the ability to control the nine grahas, by the way. Other deities also have. Hanuman Chalisa is very popular, so that's why uh, we use that. Achha, Saturn also controls uh, various beings of the lower realms. So positions of Saturn can tell you whether XYZ individual will have contact with these kind of entities or not. Uh, spirits also sometimes can be governed by Saturn. Saturn also indicates... Mm, so Saturn indicates generally the worker class. Okay. One of the very interesting remedies of Saturn, I know a friend who uh, uses this to tell people. For example, a Saturn is difficult in somebody's horoscope. So tell him that in your house, on a specific day, you yourself clean the toilets. That's something, a very menial kind of work. Precisely what Saturn likes. 
no don't let the servant or somebody else do it you do it you don't like it so what that's the attitude that if you have then saturn is going to turn slightly favorable towards you it hates ego it hates uh arrogance it hates lack of humility it hates lack of discipline but unfortunately the whole world suffers from these things a lot and saturn also gives in his justice his his very justice oriented in that sense by the way saturn can give in certain combinations exceptional amount of wealth so much wealth that no other graha can give in fact you can take it this way that perhaps some of the greatest uh, the richest people some of them would likely to have certain combinations of saturn certain places when saturn gives wealth it's like unthinkable amount of wealth will come but there is a catch involved saturn is one of the now there are grahas of other combinations also so there are certain grahas which are more crura crura means more um um so let's say freers or something not so may not gentle okay saturn is one of the crura grahas sun is also crura graha by the way saturn is a crura graha so saturn's combine if if a wealth comes from saturn there are uh it is not a natural domain of saturn natural domain of saturn is hard work and discipline being an unnatural domain you can be certain that if a person if a horoscope combination shows that this person made a lot of money with respect to saturn there will always be shortcuts involved corruption yeah yeah okay because it's not is not a natural domain okay saturn also represents imprisonment and things like that like the ring of saturn is like a test you're caged up for some time yeah and if you pass that yes, test yes, you're rewarded yes sort of so and uh, is is it true that at the end of your saturn phase hmm. there's a reward always no not always it's it's a popular saying sometimes it is true but sometimes it may not be true okay. again all of it depends on the position of saturn okay and as i mentioned there are certain combinations of saturn which if present there's no cure possible for that if whatever is the affliction nothing no amount of upasana of any deity no amount of going to anywhere else is going to bring any relief you just have to go through that because okay. that is the lesson that nature is going to teach you saturn is very good in teaching lessons uh to keep certain degree of control over saturn saturn also by the way controls uh, oil and things like that these are all governed by saturn people often ask i'll do hanuman chalisa once once me to kuch nahi hone wala hai 10 hazar saal mein bhi kuch nahi hoga so do depending on the amount of trouble you are in you decide ki how much you have to do okay so that it should be you know of the same level as the intensity of difficulty that you are facing then only there's a chance that you will have some relief from it okay. so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more